Hey guys, I'm Puri. I've been getting a lot of uh, requests recently to help people optimize their systems in order to increase their FPS in Warzone. So I've created a 14 point guide that outlines you know, all the settings and configuration options that I choose when I optimize my system to run my benchmark videos. So I hope it's helpful and let me know if you have any questions or comments along the way. Um, and thanks for watching. Okay. Step one is to update Windows to the latest version available. Uh, the way I do this is by hitting the Windows key on my keyboard or clicking the Windows uh, start menu icon. Uh, and then I just start typing Windows update. It'll take you to the check for updates page uh, within the control panel. And then you can hit the check for updates button here. If you have any updates, they'll populate in a list right here and then you can download and install them. Uh, depending on the type of update, some, some of them uh, require a restart and some of them um, you can just continue using uh, the machine without a restart. So, um, you know, follow the instructions accordingly and then get this up to date for it. Okay, if you, have a, if you have an NVIDIA card, the way you update the drivers on your GPU is opening NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And if you don't have it, it, I'll put the link below for the download. Okay. So once you have GeForce Experience open, um, <clears throat> you can go to the Drivers tab. It will show you what version of driver you have here and then you can hit check for updates I have the latest uh, driver because I just got this card um, but if yours is not updated it will say check for updates and then there will be a download now button I think here or here I forget which spot it shows up but uh, there will be a download now button you'll go ahead and download it when it's done it'll ask you to install um, I would recommend always doing a clean installation as the option um, whenever you update the drivers. Okay. okay, if you want to update the drivers on your AMD GPU, download Adrenaline uh, AMD software Adrenaline Edition, that's the latest version right now, um, and then uh, go ahead and install it and then it automatically updates the drivers for you. So right now I have the latest version of the software. It tells you right here that it's drivers and software. Uh, if you want to actually see what the version is, you can hit that little arrow to take you to this tab. And then it'll give you the software and driver details. Here is the driver version. Um, that's all you gotta do. Right, step number three is to update your motherboard BIOS to the latest available version. I've included links below for all the major manufacturers of motherboards. Uh, I'm running an MSI MPG Force Wi-Fi C690 right now, so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the MSI link, and then I'm gonna find my motherboard using the dropdown. Hit search. Um, it looks like there's a new version, a beta version that was released 321. So that was very recent. And if you want to check your current version, you can open up the, uh, sorry, not the command prompt. Uh, hit Windows R to open the run function and hit msinfo32. Um, this is my board and uh, BIOS version. So it's uh, American Megatrends International A14. Um, the board is a MicroStar 7030. So we can see we have 7030 version A31. I'm on A14. Uh, I think mine was released sometime in December. Uh, <clears throat> so I am going to go ahead and download this. Uh, MSI includes their own instruction set 
for how to flash the BIOS. There's usually a couple options on how to do it uh, per manufacturer, and um, you'll be able to find those instructions on the sites in the links below. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and update this, uh, update my BIOS, and then continue on with the guide. So that should be all for the update section. Um, I'm gonna go into uh, settings now. And the first uh, file we want to look at is called the ADV underscore options file. So if you open up a file browser and go into your documents folder, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Players, you're going to see a file called ADV underscore options. Okay, and you're gonna see two options that you want to possibly adjust. Video memory scale is usually set below one, um, and most people say to keep it between 0 0.85 and one. I've actually been running mine at 1.3. Uh, now, I don't think this works with all sets of hardware. I'm running a 12900K with the 3090 Ti, um, so, most people recommend leaving this between 0.85 and 1. Um, I've tried that and I've gotten better results at 1.3. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Try it for yourself um, and uh, see what happens, I guess. Um, I've heard people have different uh, results. So, you might have to try and test yourself uh, to see what works best for you. The render or worker count, you see I have set at eight here. This should be set to half the number of cores um, that your processor has. And you can check this by going to this task manager. And if you go to the performance tab, it'll pull up some, uh, some details about your processor. And you can see here how many cores uh, are available. Right now, I have 16 cores on this 12900K, so I put it in eight here. Number five is the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, okay, so you can open up the NVIDIA control panel by going into the um, hidden icons over in the bottom right, or you might have it actually in the taskbar tray. If you don't, then you just open up the hidden icons, and if you left click that button, it'll uh, open up control panel, or you can right click it and hit NVIDIA control. Um, I'm gonna go to manage <coughs> 3D settings, and then go to program settings so I can set it for each individual program. Um, I have Call of Duty Modern Warfare selected here. If you don't have it, you can hit add and find it yourself in your uh, file directory. Okay, I'll go over each of the settings that I change. Um, I turn anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing gamma correction off, max frame rate, uh, monitor technology to fixed refresh, highest available for preferred refresh rate, um, the texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization on negative LOD bias clamp, um, texture filtering quality high performance and then texture filtering trilinear optimization on. Uh, for vertical sync, I will leave it where it is. Um, so here's this is what I run in my control panel in terms of the settings. Um, and I know you know other people have a different combination of settings they run. This is what I run for my videos. Um, feel free to try it out and, and modify as necessary. So I don't think there's a way for me to do this uh, recording the screen because it's going to be an on-screen display from my uh, monitor. But when I go for max frames, I turn adaptive sync off on my monitor. So if you, um, you know, if you have a, a monitor that has adaptive sync as an as a hardware option um, through its own menu. Um, I would suggest turning it off and seeing the results. Um, okay. Seven and eight are turning on Windows Game Mode and Windows Hardware Accelerated Graphics Scheduling. Um, these are two built-in uh, enhancements 
within Windows. Uh, some people report that they get better frames with them on, some people with it off, and a combination of both. So for me personally, I get better, I get the best performance when game mode and the hardware scheduling is on. So um, go ahead and, you know, again, most of these settings, um, I'm sharing what I ran in my, what I run in my videos. And then I suggest you, you know, try them out for yourself and see where you land because everyone's configuration seems to uh, react differently to certain setting sets. Okay. So the way you turn on Windows game mode, um, I just hit the Windows uh, button on my keyboard and I just type game mode. It'll hit, take you to the game mode settings uh, menu. Mine is already on. Go ahead and switch it on if, if, um, if you don't have it on here. To get to the hardware accelerated graphics scheduling option, I just start typing hardware, uh, no, graphics. Graphics. It'll take you to the graphics settings. And then if you go to change default graphics settings, there's an option that says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Um, and then you want to turn that on. Okay. Um, this setting I haven't actually messed with yet, but I, it's, it's been on the whole time I've been on Windows 11. I'm gonna try messing with this later, but for now, this is what I've run in all my Windows 11 uh, videos so far, which aren't that many in Windows. The nine is changing your Windows power options. Um, and the way I get to that menu is by hitting the start key again start typing power options uh, it'll open up the edit power plan uh, window and then I just go back to the power options tab here um, and I'm already on high performance I would recommend you get you put it on high performance or ultimate whichever one you have available uh, ultimate I think leaves everything running at hundred percent all the time um, with minimal gain in gaming performance versus high performance so I don't I don't bother enabling the ultimate performance but you know go ahead and try it out if, if you're interested there's 10 and 11 is um, enabling modern warfare uh, so that you can it can be run as admin and then also um, disabling the full screen optimizations and high high DPI scaling behavior so the way we're gonna do that change that setting is open up a uh, file explorer. Uh, we'll go into the C drive. And by default, if you install through Battle.net, which I think is the only way to do it, uh, you gotta go into Program Files, um, x86, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you'll see modernwarfare.exe in here. I'm gonna right click it and hit Properties. Um, if you go to Compatibility, I believe, yep, Compatibility, um, we can change settings for all users and what we're gonna do is enable okay check off disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator and then under change high DPI settings uh, make sure that uh, override high DPI scaling behavior uh, scaling performed by application is checked off hit okay hit okay hit okay Okay, so I can't, I don't have a uh, screen capture method for uh, the bio, so I just took screenshots. Uh, and this is the setting I ran uh, for my videos in Warzone. Uh, this is my 5.3 setting for Windows 10. Uh, it's looking like I'm, I require a little more voltage in Windows 11 for whatever reason. Uh, so these settings have changed. Um, so right now I'm actually running a 52 on the P core ratio, making it 5.2 gigahertz on the P core, 40 on the E core, and then 39 on the ring. So the only thing I've changed is kick this back down to 5.2 for now because of the voltage difference. Uh, and then I run the voltage mode on override. Um, and here it's at 1.4, but right now on Windows 11, I'm running uh, at 5.2 gigahertz on P-Core is at 1.35 V-Core. Um, the RAM voltage, I just let it auto-regulate. Uh, it's pretty low on the DDR5 sticks. It's like 1.25 or something like that. Uh, 
And if you, I've enabled the XMP profile on my RAM. Um, if you know how to manually tune it, even better. Um, this XMP profile works pretty well. It's geared to at 5200 megahertz um, with the DRAM timing set to link. Uh, so that's what I ran for the videos. Um, and there are the settings. Right. Step 14 is to overclock the GPU. I use MSI Afterburner. Um, and here are the settings I've been using for my videos. That's actually 1000 here. So basically I, I do plus 50 on the core clock, plus 1000 on the memory clock. I'm on the latest uh, graphics driver from NVIDIA and I run the fans at 100. I don't change the voltage, um, I don't change the power limit. Um, and I haven't really pushed it any further than this in terms of um, overclocking the GPU.